needy saplings. SCP-052 are an anomalous group of saplings that are, as the name suggests, extremely needy. Almost to a quite frankly hilarious and dangerous degree. One foundation scientist summarized it quite well when he said that SCP-052 are just saplings with deep-rooted mummy issues. That foundation scientist is me, by the way. Due to their neediness, SCP-052 are often whining, crying, and bawling their eyes out whenever fauna stops streaming, so much so that a group of SCP-052 instances have even created a website designated SCP-052-1. Or more specifically, I miss fauna.com to cry wank while they wait. The site in question so far has not been deemed anomalous. Its only purpose is to tell people specifically when Ceres Fauna is streaming and since, and since when she hasn't. While this site is almost like a joke and is used for nothing but meme material these days, Foundation scientists have predicted its value to skyrocket when, in due time, Fauna will eventually graduate from Hololive and stop streaming altogether. That its current timer will go upon years upon years since she's last streamed and make it, making it a valuable piece of VTuber history in the future. That being said, aside from being needy, SCP-052 instances have the anomalous property of emitting a rather pitiable aura when they start crying, infecting other normal saplings to become just like them, and threatening to commit suicide if she doesn't stream in the next 48 hours after her last activity. Considering that most VTuber sex aren't normally like this, and the fact that this particular fanbase sticks to Fauna and Fauna alone, the SCP Foundation has granted SCP-052 the SAFE classification. The Foundation finds it intriguing why needy saplings are a phenomena, exclusive only to Fauna, at least inside Hololive. Considering that Hakos Bells, a fellow console member, also has a phenomena surrounding her being sexually appealing to many people, and that Crony is the unanimously agreed upon member in console to be the sexiest, it is an anomaly indeed. Perhaps it is because of Fauna's voice that somehow manipulates and activates some kind of dormant instinct within a human male to become a literal child and start seeing her in a sexual yet motherly figure. An Oedipus complex, if you will. Perhaps it is because Fauna's fans are hated by their own mothers and or for being degenerates, of course, or does not have a proper family. But whatever answer it is, it is clear that this phenomenon is for now quite exclusive to Fauna, at least in this level of scale. It is interesting to the Foundation why these particular breed of saplings are the way they are. Fauna herself does not see herself as a mommy figure, nor does she treat her audience as such. No, Fauna sees herself as an older sister type. But this has not stopped this particular SCP-052 instances from becoming the absolute whiny losers that they are. So yes, one of the less scary SCPs we have in the database, but also one of the most entertaining. You know, one of the more interesting chat messages that I've seen in Fauna's chat was actually someone saying something along the lines of, Mommy, give me, please give me a healing handjob, ooh. Or something along those lines. This is slander. I apologize if you think this is slander, because I personally do not think so. The foundation speaks facts and nothing but facts. 